So, do you love your pet? I love my pet. I can't stand cats, but I, this cat here, he, he showed up on my doorstep a couple years ago as a little kitten, and uh, he just, he grabbed this old man's heart. You know, he grabbed my heart. Anyway, he's right back there sleep there. That's him sleeping right there. So uh, I get these auto water filters or water filters, <laughs> these auto water fountains for him. And uh, he likes them. And, and whenever I grab the water, this cat goes ape crap. And he, um, uh, as soon as I grab the water, he always thinks it's for him. And he wants me to put it in his bowl and pour it. And he likes to slap around in it. So we get these uh, water bowls that are you know get the little water fountains in them so we had one and it only lasts for about six months and i wish i would have did a review on it because uh well as soon as i get to it i'm doing a lot of amazon reviews right now trying to become amazon vine uh that way i can get products and review them and give some honest reviews on these products i'm tired of people giving me false reviews for their free free products man it's, it's aggravating me but anyway so i got this one the first one I got was stainless steel. The bad thing with stainless steel is you get a lot of uh, bacteria and allergy in it, even with the filters on them. Go ahead and got this one here. Well, again, this is just gonna be a quick, quick little video. Nothing too dramatic here. So I did, I opted, the first one was stainless steel. This one here, I got a black and now this is plastic. So it's a hard plastic. So I'm hoping that it's gonna keep the uh, allergy, uh, <laughs> allergy from um, the bacteria from spawning up. So the pump itself. All right, so I'm going to put this. I normally have a table when I do my review. So you have this little filter that it's supposed to help. You know anything going into the pump. Same pump that the other one had. So uh, I wish they had made the cords a little bit longer, but they don't. Then you get the um, the spout for where the water comes out of the little uh, USB wall block, which I use the old one. I stack these up in the in a drawer. So just a little bit of USB wall block, nothing spectacular. You don't need it for this. And then a filter. So and these filters are pretty cheap. This one here actually is a hard plastic, so hopefully it does good. Uh, I replace mine every two weeks. And then of course you get Manuel. So I'm gonna get it all hooked up and uh, see how good it, the flow is on it. And uh, I don't know if I put this uh, this review up there quick or if I'm gonna wait a week to see if that allergy, I don't have allergies. The algae uh, forms or does not form on here. Because if it forms on here, then of course, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't want it. You know, I want to keep this as clean as possible. Um, whenever we, we wash it once, uh, every Sunday we wash his bowl and put fresh water in here or, or in the other one. And it, it always has that al algae on it all the time. And that, that's just nasty. I mean, when you take this off, this thing's all slimy and covered in it. But we're going to see how it does. I do know real quick while I'm here this right here just pops open so you squeeze it uh, and it pops open and then your filter goes in there there's only one way for a filter that's the only bad thing and why I don't like cats is cat hair cat hair is just horrible can't stand cat hair so like I said you just put it in and you want the filter part to be where the water this is where the water goes in to be down so you want the filter part and then you just snap it back and then all the water that's going to come out of the spigot will flow right onto that filter and then there you go and then when the water again it's going to be pumped it's going to be pushed through here here's a little splatter guard you know pushes on there this right here the water will be up to this rim right here and then and then uh, you know fill up and then little bitty splatters of water and then you know, it's supposed to only splash in this area here. I know the other one we had, it did not splash outside whatsoever on the floor. Uh, Two-year pump warranty. 
All right, let me go get it hooked up. I got the water bottle all hooked up as you've seen. Kitty Kitty loves it. It's Kitty Kitty approved or Buddy approved. So what's really cool though is we had these for our old one. And everything from the pump filter to the regular filters all fit inside of it. So we don't have to buy you know any new ones for that. So that's nice. So I think this is called an H4 by BMDA. BMDSAE. So here it is right here. I will leave links down below. Overall, if you care for your pet, keeping them with some nice cold water and uh, keeping them hydrated is just as important as keeping yourself hydrated. So, I mean, I have an auto feeder for my cat. I have the, the water. That way it's always there. Something happens. Sometimes, you know, uh, we go to families, we go to barbecues, and we're, we're there too long, and I don't want to have to put anything in, so I have auto feeders. Yeah, I might be a little lazy, but at the same time, it ensures me that my pet is always taken care of, and that, that's the goal is these animals, you know, they're defenseless. We, we get pets not only to keep us company and to give us support, but we also support them. So all in all, I mean, I like these, these auto auto uh, water feeders, these auto water fountains. He likes it, he likes to pat his paws in it, you know. <sighs> we gotta go through filters more than what normal because he plays in it a lot. It doesn't get water everywhere, but it, it's, these are really nice. So again, I'll leave uh, Amazon links down below for it. They're cheap. I think I got this one with a $10 off uh, coupon. It's under 20 bucks, so, but no. It works for us. It works for the cat. Obviously, you've seen them drinking it. So, anyway, sometimes with Tomology, catch y'all in the next one.